know, I, I'm going to throw a number out. I would say it's probably anywhere from thirty to hundred dollars, depending on the facility and what's involved. The thirty to hundred dollar price—that's per yes. specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. In a statement, Planned Parenthood says there is no financial benefit for tissue donation for either the patient or for Planned Parenthood. In some instances, actual costs, such as the cost to transport tissue to leading research centers, are reimbursed, which is standard across the medical field. Let's start with the bottom line regarding the explosive Planned Parenthood video we're all seeing now and the ensuing story about the use of fetal body parts. Either the people at Planned Parenthood are lying through their teeth to keep quiet a despicable practice of selling fetal organs made public by a brave group of filmmakers, or those who produced the video have taken the footage and cut it up to tell the story they want America to hear. And Planned Parenthood is doing nothing medically or morally wrong. Those are the two sides. Start there. Go no further. If you want to get to the bottom of this, that's where we begin. First up, she is president of the pro-life group Live Action and a tireless anti-abortion activist, Lila Rose, joined by licensed attorney and co-founder of Lawyer Up, Ilor Ananos. Ladies, I want to thank you both for joining us. Let me go to you first, Lila, because the president of Planned Parenthood has apologized for this, saying that it was an unacceptable tone as far as what this individual said, but she said the organization strives as its top priority to provide compassionate care. Does that make you feel any better? It's interesting that Cecile Rich is the president of Planned Parenthood throws her senior medical director under the bus in her statement, but doesn't once get specific about what she did wrong. And the fact is, this is happening at all levels of the organization, where Planned Parenthood, after killing children, sometimes in the late second trimester, is then harvesting their parts for financial profit, as it's been proved, and I can explain that more in a moment, in this video shows in order to make an extra buck after the original buck of selling the abortion to a woman in a difficult situation. All right, now let's look at the legalese of this as well, because Laura, certainly you as an attorney will be able to at least speak to this. There is a discussion out there that this is a legal form of fetal tissue donation. As far as you've been able to look into it, what have you been able to find? And as far as I've been able to look into it, this is a perfectly legal practice. What we have is mothers um, or mothers to be who are getting legal abortions under all the correct medical and legal guidelines who are making knowing and voluntary donations of tissue after the abortion. It's really no different than any other type of organ donation. And it's something that I don't really see any problem with so long as it's knowing and voluntary, which also signs point to it being in this case. Lila, so, I know that that's something that, <clears throat> and if excuse me, I know that's something that you'll disagree with, but let me also bring this into it as well. And I want you to comment on that, but there are a lot a lot of reports out there that the individual who shot this video heavily edited this video and left out a lot of very pertinent parts of the video and specifically made it look like a hack job. What do you think about that as well? Laura and Ed, have either of you watched the full footage that was openly released by the Center for Medical Progress? Because the full footage is even more damning than the short version. It goes to show how this senior medical director of Planned Parenthood is talking about how they like to more than break even at the clinics, why this is a good deal to sell the hearts, the, the lungs, the liver of the children, how she actually manipulates the actual abortion procedure to deliver the baby breech so that she can keep the organs intact. And this also is highly unethical. And how she's doing this in order to be able to have these extra parts to sell. Another very popular company that sells baby parts and bu buys and sells them, and they're a middleman called STEM Express, has a Planned Parenthood endorsed advertisement that talks about how this is financially profitable. Those are the exact words, financial profits, financial benefit to your clinic. These are the words, and they're marketing to clinics all over the state of California and beyond. This is what's happening. People want to deny it. They want to hide it. And this, it really sounds like Lila was absent the day that they taught what propaganda is. I don't understand how anybody could possibly see this video and not understand that it clearly has been edited, that it clearly is manipulative. And I also don't really quite understand how any American could un not think that if there were an organization as high profile as Planned Parenthood doing something like selling fetal parts for profit, how could they possibly not have been prosecuted? Okay? There are plenty of people in this country who hate all things abortion and Planned Parenthood. And those people are standing by at the ready to prosecute anyone guilty of doing anything criminal. Okay, hang it, on one second, Laura, because we're short on time and I know Lila's in here, but because of some of the technical ease, we can't always hear her. Lila, I've got about 30 seconds left. Please respond. 
Laura has clearly not watched the full footage, and the reason that Planned Parenthood is getting a pass by many in the mainstream media and many politicians like presidential presumptive nominee Hillary Clinton and others is because for them, abortion is sacrosanct, and they refuse to look at the facts. Watch the full footage yourself. Planned Parenthood is covering up their fetal parts trafficking that they are doing, and it's a horrific human rights abuse. We are going to have to look at this again when we have more time, because again, this is a, a, a very morally uh, important issue that we talk about here. But I do want to make the point here that there are reports saying out here that the video speaks exactly to what Planned Parenthood says, and there are those out there who say that it has been edited and things have been left out. So there we have it for the moment, but we will do this again, I promise. We're out of time now. Lila Rose, a pleasure to have you on the the show. Ilara Nano, it's always a pleasure to have you. Ladies, thank you so much. We will continue this conversation. Planned Parenthood is answering back right now, and this is something that strikes the moral chord in so many people in America. Stay with us. The fastest 60 minutes of news continues.